What's up everybody, it's Jeremy from Virtual Bike and Board and this is Fully Custom Specialized Alay Sprint. I wanna talk about why Specialized made this bicycle. Let's talk about the past first. Early 1980s, Senior just produced the Specialized Rock Hopper. He takes the bike world by storm. Everybody wants a piece of Specialized. They're new, they're cool, they're hip, they're trendy. And he says, you know what? I think I wanna make a road bike for the people. Mass produced, but fancy, fancy for the people. What does he do? He comes up with the Alay. The first Alay gets manufactured in Japan. The first mass market steel bike being made in Japan, imported in the United States. It's steel frame, lugs, the whole deal. It's a racier bike, but not a full-on race bike. Eh, it's a full-on race bike. Kind of like this, actually. Like, a race bike, not really, but eh, full-on race bike at the end of the day. In the late 1980s, Sinyard says, you know what? I think I want to make the Alay out of carbon. So he reaches out to his buddies in Taiwan. There's a little known up and coming company over there named Giant, who is doing some pretty trendy stuff. And he has Giant manufacture him the first mass market imported carbon road bike frame into America. This is like 1988, which is also the Alay. Alay Epic Carbon, I believe it was called. Anyways, Specialized, Trendsetters, they're still doing the same thing now. Senior is a G at the end of the day. That brings me to this beautiful bike that we have here. So again, Specialized Alay, custom build, Altegra 12 speed, DI2, 5034 in the front, 1134 in the back. It's got like the tarmac seat post, tarmac front fork. There were some Easton handlebars in the shop, so I just threw these on. Supercast tape. Zeke saddle, Revolve C38 wheels with GP5000 TL tubeless tires, 28 mil. Why would you ride 25 millimeter tires when you can ride 28 millimeter tires? Pretty swanky build. You can get into this thing for something like $5,000, which is a pretty fair price for a high-end road bike. With that said, hit the subscribe button. Stefan tells me that I can't do YouTube anymore until we get over a thousand, so please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button. Why are we here today? I want to talk about aluminum road bikes or why Specialized made this bicycle, I think, a little bit. And that brings us to Justin Williams, Corey Williams, Legion of LA Cycling, fancy aluminum bikes, hipsters, crit racing, cycling in America, and all the other stuff that goes along with that. Bike racing in general, as much as I love it, is not that exciting to the average person. Why do, why do I say that? Because if you go to the tour, you stand on the side of the road for 10 hours, yeah, you party, the bike race comes by in about 30 seconds, and then you go back to partying, and then you ride your bike down the hill, off the mountain. In America, there's this thing called crit racing, which is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger, and the platform is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. What is crit racing? Crit racing is when you race your little curly handlebar bicycle around in a circle, generally in a course that's less than a mile long, around and around and around and around and around for give or take an hour. It's fast, it's exciting, It's the elbows are banging, rubbing is racing, the crashes are brutal. More importantly, what it is is it's incredibly exciting for the fans. Stay with me here. Now we zoom in on what's called Legion of LA. Legion of LA is a cycling team created by Justin Williams and Corey Williams, two brothers from LA, 39th Street in East LA, I believe. And they started this cycling because they wanted to basically change the way we think about cycling in America create a team that had a brand behind it and try to market themselves as a brand or as, you know, key players to try to actually make a buck because there's, I was watching an interview before this and Corey Williams was like, yeah, I've been racing bicycles professionally for the last four years and I made $25,000 total, not even per year, total. So it's like, there's a huge problem there. The other thing that they were saying is like, how am I going to tell a kid who's young and excited and good at racing and showing like they may have some promise to like, dude, you should become a pro bike racer. There's no future in that. So Legion is doing something pretty interesting where they're like trying to create a platform to potentially make a living off racing their bicycles, which is pretty swanky. This is supposed to be a bike review. This bike right here is a race bike made out of aluminum. Why is it made out of aluminum? That kid who's young and hungry and wants to start racing his bike, maybe doesn't have a ton of money in his pocket, maybe can't afford the $5,000 S-Works frame set. He can afford this thing. It's a thousand bucks, give or take, for the frame, the fork, the seat post, stem, and handlebars potentially for like a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks. A kid working at a job where he's making a few bucks a week can get into a bike like that if he saves his money. That's why this thing is so cool. A few features about this frame set that stand out compared to your other, you know, entry level aluminum race frame sets. One, integrated cables. And it's that hybrid integrated thing that I talked about a few weeks ago on the Cervelo Solos, I think it was. We're not going through the handlebars here. That kid building up his bike at home can't figure out a way to get his cables through his handlebars anyways. He or she can get them through the frame, right? Specialized, does things well. They're very refined as a brand, their product is. That is a perfect way to run your cables, not through the stem, but in through the steer tube. It looks good. There's ports for whatever different kind of cables you want to run. Through the down tube, through the chain say, out the back here. Clean way to route DI2 cables and brake cable comes through as well. Very nice job on that. The other thing is they basically are modeling this geometry and the shaping of the tubes after the tarmac, which is pretty crazy because if you look at this and you realize that this is aluminum tubing, you start to think to yourself like, these are some pretty crazy 
shapes to make out of aluminum tubing. The biggest one being the front. This is a tapered steer tube. It's easy to make this in a carbon mold because you just lay the carbon sheets into the mold. It's incredibly hard to make it out of aluminum because pipes don't come out of extruder or however the hell they make pipes looking like this piece. So this is called Hydroform. Specialized pioneered it with another company back in like early 2013. And what it is, is they basically make a mold out of a rubber and they lay a sheet of aluminum over that rubber die and they blast water at it to bend the aluminum sheet around the die. That's how that thing is made. It's pretty advanced. It's an aluminum bike, but it's like the way that they took all the inspiration out of the wind tunnel testing for the tarmac, they just copied it and put it on here. The other thing that's important to notice, you're thinking about buying a bike like this, the Allay Sprint has different geometry than the general, you know, Joey Allay frame set. So this is more aggressive of a riding position. You're going to be more forward. You're going to be up on your handlebars. I think the steer tube angle is 72.5, whereas on the Joey version, it's 73.5. So it's a bit steeper on the front end. It's a good looking bike. Drop seat stays. And I love the silver. I think my favorite part about this bike is the, when we put this thing together, it was like, let's go and let's lean into the silver thing. You got splatter paint silver on the seat, silver frame, silver bar tape. I don't know, it's a good looking bike. And again, you can get into something like this for not that much money, which is pretty swanky. And like I always say, round up for distance, round up for time. Thanks for watching.